Selka. Corkscrew. A revolving body with two blades made out of a lorry wheel with tank type steering. John Heatley promises boys he'd build a robot for them if they raised the money they did by washing cars. Here they are. Roboteers, stand by. There is corkscrew. Is it top heavy, I wonder? Unbalanced? There's John and his two boys, Lewis and Lawrence, 12 and 11. And 13 black. An unusual machine. John Denny is the driver, Richard Morris and Ken Wilson with him. To do damage for the house robots, Sergeant Bash, the pincers, the flamethrower. And with a huge capacity for mayhem is Shunt, our old pal. Three, two, one. If 13 Black can get both of those cutting blades working in tandem, they are very destructive. Well, that's one, the corkscrew, the wheel hub with the kilt and the Scottish spirit has thus far withstood the pressure and the punishment, has its own blades, corkscrew, on the sides of the revolving body, and this is a fast and frantic fight, isn't it? 13 Black smashes on Shunt away, there goes the revolving corkscrew. It's all maddened, whirling and twirling out there, a Highland fling from Corkscrew. Will they toss the cable that is 13 black? Corkscrew, the men with the Highland bravery, Scott Swahey from Selkirk, Edinburgh. 13 black, the roulette wheel has stopped spinning, the other blade is still moving furiously. Close in on Corkscrew, is the kilt got caught up in there or is it the blade of Corkscrew? It is. There, look, hanging on to 13 Black, low down. Now, for me, while 13 Black has looked on the surface the more aggressive, I think Corkscrew has been the more controlled here. Lewis Heatley, 12 years of age, is steering Corkscrew perhaps to a famous victory. Shunt has a look. They're caught, wedged together here. Cease has been called. The robots will be decided by the judges. Brilliant stuff by young Lewis and his brother Lawrence. The judges will decide. Oh, and do they know? They look agonised. They plot. They consider. Corkscrew spinning under pressure from 13 Black. Then coming back on the attack itself. Well, it was smashing and bashing 13 Black, but was that controlled and stylish? And was this the most significant moment of damage? The roulette wheel stopped. Well, the judges have made their decision. Now, they can be quite controversial in Robot Wars, and I think this is quite a controversial decision. They've gone for corkscrew! <laughs> well done, lads! How, do you, how far do you think you're going to get? All the way. How long does it take to make this robot? Um, it's six months. Six months. Mm. In a shed or a garage? In the garage and the kitchen table, which my wife can, you know, rely on to tell you about, yeah. <laughs> on, on the, on the, the kitchen, kitchen table. table? Yeah. OK, yeah. and who's responsible for putting these two young boys in skirts? They're not skirts. People have... <laughs> it's a kilt? Yeah. Oh, silly me, man, sorry. It's good to have you here. Hope you go far. You're great competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Corkscrew! From Selkirk, Corkscrew. Welcome to Team Corkscrew. I'm John, this is Lewis, and my other son, Lawrence. This is our robot Corkscrew, based on, obviously, Corkscrew. It has a rotating weapon which rotates, and we hope to win Robot Wars. Roboteers, stand by. Exterminator with all the previous experience of a semi finals. Marlon Pritchard there at the controls. Against the newcomers, Corkscrew. Lovely story, this, though, isn't it? With little Lawrence and Lewis saving up their money by washing cars to provide cash for John Heatley to build the robot. The kilolots in the arena. Oh, please don't crush the hopes of those two wee lads from Scotland. Oh, go on then. Shunt. 
also in there to push perhaps Exterminator into the pit, who knows? Three, two, one, activate. Exterminator has the extra little weight and also with the seriously powerful axe. Oh, that's a capability there. Well, to grab hold of the, of the corkscrew handle. Wobbly, lightweight the handle. It's not going to overbalance that heavy lorry wheel base for corkscrew, which has its own spinning blades, but I don't think they're working, are they? For the controls for this heat semi-final, John Heatley taking over from Lewis. It was the controls for the victory over 13 black earlier. Corkscrew and little thrust exterminator dodging away. Both on the side walls. Corkscrew quickly moving at up to 20 miles an hour. It's slightly the faster of the two. Oh, and onward. Thrust almost into oblivion. Was that suicidal, John Heatley there? But again, they bravely come back and exterminate up. A brave-hearted display by the corkscrew team. Marlon Fritchard looks on an instrument engineer by trade, loves his golf, his computers and his exterminator machine. Corkscrew backing away, exterminator still on the arena wall. The axe is working, corkscrew being axed by shunt. Exterminator axing, nothing in particular. And the judges will have noticed that. Corkscrew still in there fighting. What an unlikely machine, to be honest, to have reached thus far. Let alone with a chance of reaching the heat final. I think they've got a great chance. Exterminator axe by shunt. Drops to the arena floor with a crash. He's smiling. But it could be a death smile of robot rigor mortis. Because Exterminator, in real peril, not from the flame pit, but Cease. from the judges, I think. Both robots mobile. We're going to have to go to the judges. While they're making up their minds, let's review the highlights. Well, we knew about Exterminator's axe. Point scored. And again. And really, the corkscrew blade wasn't efficient at all but they had the doggedness and the determination. Damage caused to Corkscrew, certainly. But in the end, Exterminator were caught by Shunt. Which way will the judges go here? Oh, it's a bit tense here. The judges have made their decision. They're supposed to be looking at style, control, damage and aggression. Sometimes I don't know what they're looking at. The judges have gone for Corkscrew! In the last round, I made some kind of flippant remark, didn't I, about you guys uh, wearing dresses? Yeah, not dresses. I know they're not dresses, they're kilts, cos there's nothing girly about you guys, is there? You got right stuck in, didn't you? Yeah. But you do court controversy, don't you? I mean, I thought it was a controversial decision for you to beat 13 Black, for a start. And then you get into this contest and you don't spin at all. What happened to you? The, what happened to the corkscrew aspect of the robot? The engine cut out, didn't, I think. That's it. Engine that just it cut out, yeah. So you just had to rely on brute force. Brute didn't force you? and ignorance, and we've got all of that. Do you think you're going to be ready for Dominator 2? Tough old battle. It's getting it's getting tough now. It's he's going really to be tough. He's going to be. Know, he's this going was to be tough lethal. as well. This yeah. was tough, but such a fast robot, yours. Yeah, it's quick. It's quick. Uh, we can fight without the weapon, so you know we we proved that again today. Um, but we can fight a lot better when it runs. So I we'll tell be you, there. you're going to need the weapon against Dominator too. I think we can go through his polycarbonate shell or whatever it is. I think we can do it. OK, well, get it working then. Yeah. Get your spanners out. Yeah, we will. And get it fixed. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Corkscrew! This is when Robot Wars gets really exciting. First timers against semi finalists last time. Who's going to go through to the semis this time? It's all to play for. But you've done your work, haven't you, in the meantime? Absolutely. We've beefed it up. Basically, Dominator's been on steroids for the last year. <laughs> Double the thickness of shell. Acts more the, powerful. Yeah, four times more powerful. We reckon so. But is it any match against 
these guys, just look at them. Can you do your normal check? I want everyone yeah. to see this. There we go. Have a we have this every time, every yeah. time. You have to make sure they're okay. And the, socks, sure. yeah. and the socks, yeah. Yeah. socks, and the socks, and the shoes. Yeah. Yeah. You look glorious. All that car washing, yeah. it was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah. You've come this far. Can you go all the way, do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Even though they've doubled the shell and four times the axe? Yeah. Absolutely. And what did they do earlier? Called our kilts skirts. <gasps> That's enough to make them angry, which is enough to give us a very good battle, I'm sure. From Selkirk in Edinburgh, Corkscrew. From Huntingdon, Cambridgeshire, Dominator 2. In the Corkscrew control pod, John Heatley and his two boys, Lewis and Lawrence. There's their turning, churning machine. Will the blades work this time? Against Paul, Chris and Peter with the Dominator 2 machine and the pneumatic axe. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house robots, Sir Killalot, our master of mechanical mayhem. And Shunt alongside him to scoop and axe opponents. Three, two, one, activate. And a busy night for the judges so far. Will the heat final be that close? Or will Dominator 2, the favorite for this battle, use that mighty axe to win it? and go through to the Robot Wars Series semi-final. Corkscrew against the arena sidewalk. Turning away, in comes Shunt. Don't get into that CPZ. The house robots can come in. Corkscrew pressurised by Sir Killen. How about that for a little turn away from danger? They nip between the two there. Dominator 2, down comes the axe. Well, it's cat and mouse. Catch me if you can. Corkscrew off and away. Some might say this is just running away for safety. Others might say it's a tactical ruse, a ploy. Press the pit release button and try and get Dominator 2 down into that pit. Certainly Dominator is the heavier, the more cumbersome, the more thoughtful, but the more potent corkscrew on its side. And I don't think they'll be able to right themselves. They needed the spinning weapon to act as a Shremek to get themselves up again. It's obviously not working. And Dominator 2 will reach the series semi-final. Oh, well, they battled bravely, haven't they? Lewis H12, Lawrence 11, Dad John, an engineer by trade. And this has been a plucky display by the Scottish team from Selkirk. Well done to them. Congratulations out to Dominator 2. Experience counting in the end. Ooh, that looks painful. That corkscrew will open no more bottles of vintage wine in celebration. Perhaps a drop of the hard stuff needed for John Heatley in commiseration tonight, but the bubbly belongs to Dominator 2. A rueful look and a sad ending for a very competitive and worthy team. Newcomers to Robot Wars, and haven't they put up a good display? In the end, righted after the fly through the air. But back to the Highlands and Lowlands, back over Hadrian's Wall for Corkscrew. And the Anglos from Huntingdon in Cambridgeshire, Dominator 2 are through to the series semi-finals. They're on fire now. That's just a wee dram of the hard stuff somewhere underneath that kilt. I don't know, I've never looked up a Scotsman's kilt, never felt the need to. But something in there is on fire. And in goes the ref bot with the extinguisher. Out they go, a pat of the head. Corkscrew go spinning out of the competition. Dominator 2 through to the series semi-finals. Hey, hey, now we know what's under the robot's kilt. <laughs> A petrol engine. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Talk me through that. Talk me through that. We didn't have the weapons again, so we had it to wasn't spinning have a again, bit was it? Run around. He wasn't doing. We'll it. be back. Wasn't we'll doing. be back spinning. He wasn't doing any of the corkscrewing, was you? No, no. Not well, today. you've led a fairly charmed life in this competition. Mm, but some you, would say. You've had you've added a lot of colour, yeah. a lot of fun. Come here, you. Come here. Come here. You've been so lippy throughout this competition, and now you're stuck for words, aren't you? Yeah. Are you a bit disappointed? Yeah, a bit. You give it your best shot, didn't you, eh? Yeah. And as your dad said, you'll be back, won't you? Yeah. Bigger. Bigger than ever. Don't be too disappointed, all right? It's been great having you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Corkscrew!